and welcome to this class. For today, we're looking at equilibrium of a particle. For this topic, we'll be combining the idea we got from our last class, which was which was the resolution of um, forces in 2D. So, if in case you didn't watch that, um, you didn't watch that class, I will leave um, a link in the description of this video below. So, just check the description to get the link to the class on resolution of forces in 2D. Alright, for this class, we'll be applying that concept on how to get equilibrium of a particle. Before we proceed, let's look at what exactly do we, do we mean by equilibrium. Now, when we say a particle or a body is at equilibrium, it means there is no observable change in the properties of that particle. Usually, there are two types of equilibrium, that's static equilibrium and then dynamic equilibrium. For static equilibrium, it's equilibrium achieved when a body is not moving. It's at rest. It is static. For dynamic equilibrium, it means although the body is moving, it is moving at a constant velocity and hence there is no acceleration. Alright? So that's the concept of equilibrium. Um, for this case, for applied methods, um, there are three major conditions for equilibrium. Alright? Three major conditions for equilibrium of the any particle. These three conditions are number one, that the sum or the summation of horizontal forces equals there. That's the first condition for equilibrium. That's saying sigma sum. Fx, horizontal forces, is equal to zero. This is the first condition of equilibrium. The second condition of equilibrium says that the summation of vertical forces equals zero. That is sigma Fy is equal to zero. And the third condition is that the moment about any point is equal to zero. That is the sum of moment, sum of moment about any point is equal to zero. So these are the three conditions for equilibrium. Using these three conditions to solve problems involving finding the equilibrium of a particle. We'll take this one for our first example. Alright, so this question says determine the tension in cords AB and AD for equilibrium of the 10 kilogram block shown below. That's this one here. So we're looking for tension in AB. So I'm looking for TAB, uh, tension in AB, and then tension in AD. So TAD is equal to unknown for this particle to be in equilibrium. All right, let's solve this case. solution. So to solve this case here, your first task is always to draw a free body diagram. So draw a free body diagram. Alright, for a free body diagram, by definition, a free body diagram is simply a diagram that contains or shows or displays all the forces at, that are acting on a particular system at a particular time. That's a free body diagram, okay? A diagram or a body or yeah, a diagram that shows or displays all the forces acting on a body or a particle at a particular time. That's uh, a free body diagram. For this one here, what are the forces at play here? First of all, at this point here, point A, at this point here, point A, I have this is a string going there, this string is tied here. So if it's, if I'm having a string going this way here, yeah, there will be a force on the string. The force on the string is what is referred to as tension. So the tension on this string is T A B. Again, I will say the force that acts on strings 
are called tension, it's called a tension. Next up, there's also a string or a rope from A to Z. It will be a tension here. So hence, I'll have a tension here. So this becomes T A B. So T A B. I have this. Next up, I'm having this one coming down here. There, there should be a tension from A to C, but the tension is being carried by this mass here. All right. So I'll have some coming down here. Weight is coming down here. W. Which equal to now observe. I said T A B and A T are forces on string. And the force, of course, is measured in Newton. In my question, they are given mass, yeah, M has been equal to 10 kilogram. My task will be convert this to weight. So weight is equal to mass times gravity. That's equal to 10 times 9.81. That's equal to 98.1 Newton. That's the weight. The weight here is 98.1 Newton. Also, at this point, I have 30 degrees. So here, like this, I have 30 degrees. All right, so these are all the forces acting here. All right, so observe TAC is being replaced by the weight. So instead of saying TAC, I'll say the weight instead. So I have this. All right, so we have to um, find the value of TAB and TAD so that this system will be at equilibrium. I'm done with my three body diagram. Let's now solve this. So by now, it is assumed that you understood the concept of resolution of forces and how it works. Alright, so first of all, let's use the condition for equilibrium. Number one, summation of vertical forces. That's how we start. Summation. Okay, let's call it horizontal, right? Summation of horizontal forces equal to zero. Let's say that sigma summation, sigma. Fx equal to z. Let's get horizontal forces. This one is completely vertical, so this one's work. This one here is a horizontal force, but observe that this one is going to the negative direction of x. So it becomes negative minus TAD. I have this. Okay, so TAD going to the negative direction minus TAD. For this one here, I'm having TAD inclined at this angle, 30 degrees. If I want to get the horizontal component, this one here will have two components, both the vertical component and of course the horizontal component. So I mean, I have when it comes to horizontal components, I have one and then this resolved one. If I resolve this one this way, this becomes this one lies this way, which is positive. It becomes positive. So plus, if I resolve this force this way, it becomes TAB cos of the angle because we said whenever a vector is inclined at an angle to the horizontal, then the horizontal component becomes this cos this. So it becomes TAB cos 30. Okay, this one is not a horizontal force. It's a vertical force, you can see. And of course, it's not inclined at an angle, so it cannot be resolved. So let it go. So that's like all our horizontal forces. So this is equal to zero. I have this. Um, you can choose to rearrange this to say C A B cos 30, this one here, minus C A B is equal to zero. Call this your first equation. Next up, let's look at a second um, condition for equilibrium, which is summation of vertical forces um, okay. equal to zero. So I have this one here. So sigma f y 
equal to zero. Um, if you want to, you can define coordinates. You can say if it's going this way, it should be positive. Uh, this is you define it called coordinates. For this one, I'm saying if it's going upwards, it should be positive. So that's what this one means. All right? Going upwards should be positive. If it's going to be right, it should be positive. And that's why TAB is positive, was pointing here. That's why this one was negative, was pointing here. Pointing in opposite direction becomes negative. All right, so let's sum vertical forces. This one here is a vertical force. We said if it's going up, it should be positive. This is coming down, so it becomes negative. So minus W, minus W. We said this one can be resolved horizontally and, of course, vertically. So if I resolve this vertically, it becomes TAB sine 30. All right? Because angle of inclination is to be horizontal, so it becomes sine. Um, this one, if I resolve it this way to pointing upwards, and we say pointing upwards should be positive, so it becomes positive plus C A B sine 30. So I have this. Alright, so that's all my vertical forces. Just this and this result one. That's all. This one is horizontal, so it doesn't come to play. So this is equal to zero. From here, we can, since we have the value for W, we can move this here. So we'll have that C A B sine 30 is equal to minus W comes and becomes plus W. This becomes your second equation. Now, since I have a value for W, I can go ahead and solve this one. Alright, if I solve this, I now have that TAB. So TAB sine 30 is equal to W W is 98.1 in Newton. To get TAB divided by sine 30 divided by sine 30, this cancels this. So I have that TAB is equal to 98.1. Let me, let me, let me punch this. 98.1 over sine 30. That's about. 196.2. Of course, tension is a force in Newton. So I'm using 196.2 Newton. Also, um, put put TAB this value into equation one, so we can get the value of TAB. From equation one, we have TAB cos 30. Minus TAD is equal to zero. So if I simply move TAD here, it means I have TAB cos 30 is equal to TAD. So I have this. So to get TAD, simply replace this value. TAB is 196.2 then cos 30. Cos 30 is equal to T. AD. After punching, CAD is equal to 196.2 cos 30. That's about 169.91 Newton. So therefore, CAB is equal to 196.2 and TAD is equal to 169.9. Or you can say 169.91. So that's the value of TAB. And TAD, that's the tension in cord AB and cord AD for the product system to be at equilibrium. So, this is how we apply equilibrium concept to solving problems.